this is this is this Chris and what was yours again? This is the um the fifteen years, the age fifteen years, uh seller reserve. The seller, seller reserve. Two point five for the seller reserve and two and a possible two point three if I'm being super <laughs> polite for the Chris. This is the Gurkha episode. And it probably won't be another Gurkha episode for a few more years. So, Cohiba episode coming next week. We got to cleanse our palates. Cleanse the palate. Come right with yeah. the drink. I might have to grab my um, I might have to grab my brandy for the next one. Uh, so look forward to me um, sipping on that for the next episode. And we'll load up the uh, the Cohibas. You know, I don't know if we're gonna yeah. do it next week. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna do it next week. So next episode, uh, we'll, we'll aim for it. We'll aim for it. You know what I'm we'll saying? But don't hold us okay, to so it. You know what I'm saying? Don't hold us to it. If it ain't next week, it'll be sometime within the month. You know, sometime. More than likely in the next two or three weeks, hopefully. Definitely, definitely got to clean the palate up. Uh, <laughs> what we just smoked in <laughs> <laughs> We got to rebound, man. We got to rebound. I, and, I, and you know what? I might smoke another cigar later this evening just so I can have a balance. <laughs> You know, I usually only smoke one. I usually only grab one cigar. Um, any day that I usually smoke, you know, just just off the of time. I don't. I, if I had more time to smoke more than one cigar, I definitely would. But today, I might make the effort to, to you know, light up another one and take a few minutes to, to, to puff something I like. <laughs> hey man, f final words: Is the is the uh, Gurkha hate warranted, or is the the lack of support that they get amongst some shops warranted? Man, I hate to do this. I hate to say this. Being, being somebody, you don't have to give a definitive answer, answer if you don't want to. Though. No, I'm going to give a definitive answer, definitive answer, <laughs> and that's why I say I hate it because I'm going to give a definitive <laughs> answer. It's warranted. You know, if I was a brand new, if I was a brand new cigar smoker and you handed me this Gurkha, I wouldn't be a cigar smoker today. And I hate yeah. to say that. You know, I hate to be that harsh on the cigar brand. I hate to be that harsh on the cigar. You know, it's not as bad to me as Brickhouse. Um, definitely not as good as Perdermo. You know, we had our balance with those two. Brickhouse yeah. being my bottom shelf cigar. And then Perdermo being somebody who almost teetered that line with me. Um, I wouldn't even put it above Perdermo. But I wouldn't put it below um, um, Brickhouse. But if I was somebody and I was smoking cigars for the first time, and this is what's, what's the cigar that I would pick up for the first time, I would not continue to be a cigar smoker. I probably would. That would I would be one and done. Yeah. Well, there Sorry you go. Hey, man. I, I'm not mad at that assessment. I'm not, uh, I'm, I, I, I don't know, man. I'm just not a fan, man. I, 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 I tried to give it all the fair shot I could today. I stuck it out even when I didn't want to. I, I'm not mm -hmm. uh, I'm not a fan. I'm not going to say it's terrible and, and it's for nobody, but it definitely ain't for me exactly. and those who have palates like me, you know, so. Exactly. That's as exactly. light as I'll put it, and we'll leave it at that note for Gurkha. <laughs> you know, good, All right. good luck in your future endeavors, Gurkha. <laughs> but so anyway, anyway, man, we, we appreciate our relationship here. <laughs> yeah, we... We're breaking up for a little bit, you know. Maybe we'll become friends uh, down the line, you know. But we yeah. need a little I mean, time like, apart. And, and I, I will be fair with this. I will be fair with this and say that I will keep my eyes peeled for any new production of Gurkha mm -hmm. and be willing to give them a shot. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying I'll, I'll never smoke another one again, but uh, I'm just not in a rush. It's going to be another. You know, it's going to be a while before I revisit. And you know what? And honestly, it kind of makes me more more aware and I probably would be more aware of any new production. Like I, I'm I'm not big on watching for new production. Like if I happen to see it, I see it. Or if I happen to go to my humidor and one of the um guys walking in the cigar shop say, hey this is a brand new cigar from this line. You should try it. I'll try it. Um but it, it, it kind of makes me want to be more proactive as far as paying attention to what Gurk is doing. Like it, it, it's 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 kind of making me more intrigued now. Cause Based on what we know and what we've seen and what we heard and how it's received, you know, it's like, how does a brand stick around this long and not really live up to where we've seen that it, it probably should be? And it makes me want to pay attention to Gurk a little bit more. You know, not saying I'm going to uh, patronize a brand 
as much, or I'm going to pick up every cigar that I see from Gurkha. But it makes me want to pay attention. Okay, are, are they having new production? What's going on with their production? Um, how are they constructing right. their, their their cigars? So it, it it has sparked that interest in me. So I will say that, you know, on a more positive Somebody, note for Gurkha. I would have to definitely sit down with a um a fan of the brand. Or somebody who makes statements like "This is the Rolls Royce or Bentley of cigars," and they would have to explain that to me. <laughs> explain, so, please okay. explain it to me. Like, and I that's what I'm that saying. Explained. Like, look, 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 look. Before we go, I've been around too off, long to not know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, and, and you know what? And then going off of that, reading what I read on the band, smoking what we smoke, and seeing what we've seen today. Like, are you really trying to buy your way into the cigar culture? Are you really right. trying to convince you, like, convince people to smoke your brand? Like, really, what, what, what is Gurkha really doing here? You know, because we're seeing ninety nine um, ratings. We're seeing what I just read off the um, off the band today. We're seeing Rolls Royce of cigars, Bentley of cigars, premium level cigars. But we're not getting that from the cigars. So, are we? Not proper cigars, like like is our palate not what? Like what, what yeah. what's going on with with, with with Gurkha? Like it's really raising the question to me. Like are you buying right. your ratings? Are you buying your um your advertisements? Are you really trying to push it and convince people that your cigar is a great cigar, and the cigar culture and those who are in the cigar culture are we seeing through it? And we're saying no, nah, right? Not Gurkha. We demand you step yourself up. Not just beat yourself up in words and convince me that what you're doing is great. Right. Yeah, I agree, man. It's it's like people that have these art and they say, "Oh man, this art is so amazing," and it looked like a three year old just splash paint all over the right. canvas. Yeah. And you tell me this is fantastic art, and my eyes say, "I don't. This is horse crap." Like you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah. this is great art. Like that's that's how I feel about the, the Gurkha. Maybe it's it's that like it's paint splashed on a canvas so beautifully that that snobs say this is fantastic, but you you can't convince me, man. I've been in the game too long, man. Like you I've know, been, like had, had way too many great cigars to say this is this is premium. Yeah, yeah. Just the same way I feel like I had I have eyes and that painting isn't special, but I'm not a snob. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I, I'm a big cigar smoker. You're a big cigar smoker. I wouldn't say that we're snobs. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, so maybe the snobs, you know, have an appreciation for something that I don't. But could be. Nah, it's not. It's not. It's not. Uh, you, I'm having a hard time being convinced. I trust us at this point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> point, yeah. We got a lot of years in this. You know. I'm with you on that. Yeah. Definitely with you on that. There you have it, guys. That's the Gurkha episode. Yeah, this is it. This was the Gurkha episode. <laughs> we'll revisit Gurkha at episode 111. This is episode 11. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, just kidding, man. We're going to need some time. Maybe not. We're gonna need yeah, we're going to need some time. <laughs>